If you haven't heard, PropWire has revolutionized the real estate industry because PropWire gives you unlimited property searches and downloads for free. That means no more expensive lists, no more software subscriptions, no more pay per lead services. Just free data from a nationwide database of over 157 million off-market and MLS properties updated daily at your fingertips 24 hours a day. I'm talking about vacant houses, pre-foreclosures, absentee owners, REOs, auctions, high equity, inherited houses, tired landlords, and so much more. And on this video, I'm gonna do a tutorial of how to search, find, and download off-market data. And then on another video, I'll show you how to do MLS data, which is really, really cool too. All right, let's jump to my screen. Okay, so when you first land on the PropWire screen, you're gonna see here a search bar. And I can search by zip code, city, county, or state. And I can also search by a specific individual lead type. So for now, let's just put in Mesa, Arizona. And as you can see, what it does is it's gonna show me a map on the left and information on the right. Now, let me show you how to work the filters while you're searching so that you can get the exact list that you wanna download. So first thing I can do is I can filter by my geography, by my location. So at first here, we have just Mesa, Arizona, but I could say, you know what? I don't wanna look at Mesa, Arizona. I wanna look at 85203 specifically, that zip code. Now, right now under this search, you can see that there are 186,000 records. So I may wanna condense this list down. So let me show you different ways that you can filter your list to create the exact list that you're looking for. So the first thing we can do is we can filter by location. So again, I'm looking at all of Mesa and Mesa is a pretty big town. So what I could do is instead of looking at all of Mesa, let's specifically look at a zip code, 85203, which is a zip code in Mesa. And as you can see, it brought my search down to 10,000 just in that zip code. And I can zoom out a little bit. So you can see here, there's the zip code. On my map here, you have where it pins each of the properties. I can put my mouse over each property and I can click on it. It'll pull up that specific property. So we'll come to that again in a minute here. So that's one way of looking at properties. Also, I can look at properties over here on the right. But again, let's focus right now just on our filters. So I could say, okay, I wanna look at Mesa, but I wanna look specifically at the zip code. Well, even this zip code's a pretty big area and there's 10,000 records. So the other thing I could do is I could draw a specific area. So if I click on the draw feature over here on the left, and the way this works here is I just click once and then move my mouse to the next point and I can create my own custom box. So let's say that I wanted to go kind of like this and just cover that area. Hit enter. And now I created a custom area that I wanna just look at data. So now you can see here, it reorganizes my map. It shows me just that selected area and it brought my list down to 3,200. So you can see here by, by changing the geography, I can create a filter to make my list bigger or smaller. And so that's one way to do it. Now let's go ahead and remove this. So if I hit clear, it will remove that boundary. Now by removing the boundary, all that did was it removed all the filters. So it's just gonna show me now what's on my map. The more I zoom out, the bigger the area it creates and the more leads it's gonna put in. So let's go back to Mesa, Arizona for now, just to take a look again at our data. So now we're back to 186,000. So again, that's one way to filter is by location. The next way to filter is by lead type. So right now I have all leads selected. So let's say that I wanna look at just absentee owners. Maybe I have a specific absentee owner uh, direct mail that I wanna do, or I have a specific cold call script or a specific target marketing that I wanna do just to absentee owners. So now I created a filter that shows me just absentee owners. Again, absentee owner means that somebody owns the property, but it's not their primary residence. They don't live in the home, which means it could be an investor who owns a rental, or it could be someone that moved out of state or moved to a new location and they still own the property. So this still is a pretty big list, it's 83,000. What's really cool that we have here is we can lead stack, meaning I can add additional types of filters on the lead. So to do this, you have to click must match all selected. So I checked that box there. Okay, so let's say that I wanna add free and clear. So now I have absentee owners and free and clear. And you can see that brought my list down from 83,000 to 49,000. So now in all of Mesa, there are 49,000 absentee owners that own the properties free and clear. So I could continue to list stack 
until I get a smaller list. So let's take free and clear off of the list. And let's say that I pick, oh, let's say I pick pre foreclosure as my list stack. Well, now there's only 26. So that means it's an absentee owner and they're in pre foreclosure. So that gives me a way smaller list, but a very powerful list. This, these leads of 26 are probably pretty motivated sellers because not only do they not own the property as a primary residence, but they're in pre foreclosure. But let's say that you're like, well, 26 is way too small. I want a bigger list. So we can change it by removing that. Now it's going to go back to the 83,000 absentee owners. Now, the other way that I can, I can filter my list is by going over here to property types. Right now I have all property types selected, but let's say that I want to specifically focus on single family that if I click just single family, it's going to bring it down to 47,000. And again, I can stack the list. So I can also say, well, show me condos as well. So then that brought it back up to 58,000. Now the other filter is by the owner type. So right now it's got all selected, but let's say I wanna just look at individuals. So that's a person who owns the property instead of a business, which could be you know an LLC, or it could be a bank or trust that owns the property. So if I wanna just look at individuals, then I click the individual and that brought my list down to 13,000. So you can see here by adding these filters, I condense down my list. Now there's another way that we can create custom filters. If I click on the advanced over here, I can click filters by the property details. So let's say for example, I don't wanna look at anything that's not at least a three bedroom. I don't wanna look at two bedrooms and I don't wanna look at anything smaller than a thousand square feet, for example. So now I've added in these two filters. And again, there's more filters, bathrooms, lot size, year built, so on and so forth, occupied. But let's say I just pick these two filters and I click save and close. I can also do filters on the owner details. Is it owner occupied? Is it an absentee owner? How long have they owned the property? You know, by adding more filters, you're gonna make a much smaller list, but it's gonna be a much more concentrated list. Maybe that fits your specific criteria. You have to decide that. You could also do financial details. You might say, you know what? Uh, I don't really wanna look at properties that are in low income. So I wanna have a minimum value of 100,000. Or you could say, you know what? I wanna target low income areas. So I don't wanna look at anything that's got over a value of 100,000. So I could put that filter in and then I could target maybe low income areas. So again, it, it's all based on your investing criteria. And I could also look at specific MLS keywords, which I'm gonna show you how to do that in another video. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're back to our list here of 13,000 absentee owners that are single family, that are owned individually in all of Mesa, Arizona. Now let's talk about some of our, how to see this data, how to look at it. So one thing that we could look at here is how we wanna sort the data. So I could sort the data by equity percentage. So how much equity as a percentage? Right now, this one's showing 100% equity, meaning they have no loans on the property. This person owns it free and clear. I could look at it as an equity dollar amount. So how much equity in dollar do they, do they own? Or I could say, I wanna look at it by property value. And then of course, it automatically is gonna sort from highest to lowest, but if I wanna reverse it and go lowest to highest, I just click this drop down button right here. One thing I want you to pay attention to is it's showing you right here that this is off market and absentee owner. This one is off market absentee owner and free and clear. Because remember, this one's only got 45% equity. Okay, now let's take a look at some records here. Let's say that I wanna look at this property right here. I can click on it on the map or I can click click on it on my list. It's going to pull up here and it's going to show me a Google image of the property. I could look at, you know, the map or the grid or the Google. Okay. So here's our property. It's telling me some information, absentee owner. It's a high equity and check this out. Good luck getting this from Zillow or somewhere else. It's got mortgage information. And so it says their, their loan amount. They got a loan with Wells Fargo when it was last recorded, it shows us their equity, equity percentage, and shows us stuff about the property. Now I can also click up here at the owner and I can see who the owner of record is. I can look at the history of when they bought this property, when they recorded liens and so on. Super valuable information. So that's our lead right there. Okay, so back to our search results here. We have absentee owners, single family homes that are owned individually in Mesa, Arizona. Now I've got a list of 13,000. So there's a couple different things. When I'm ready to now download this list, Let's say that I don't wanna download all 13,000. Well, again, you could add custom filters or 
I could say, you know what? Just give me 250. I just want to look at 250 of these. It's going to randomly select 250 out of the 13,000. Or I could say, you know what? Give me a max of 10,000. So I just want 10,000 of whatever it pulls. Or I could say, I want a specific amount. Let's say 5,000. So I could say 5,000. And now it's going to give me just 5,000 out of the 13,000 available. So that's one way I could do it. Again, I could say, you know what? I don't want to do it that way. I'm going to click deselect this. So I'm going to uncheck it. So it's back to 13,000. Instead of doing it that way, I could say, you know what? I'm going to add a, another lead filter. So let's say I add free and clear. Okay, so free and clear brought it down to 5,000. So I, I think I would choose that over a random sample because now it's a more concentrated list. It's a free and clear list of absentee owners and that got me down to 5,000. So I, I could say select all. So now I've selected all of the 5,063 leads. Okay, so now I'm ready to download my list, but let's say before I download it, I wanna save this search. I want this to be one of my regular searches, meaning every time absentee owners come out, I wanna know about it so that I can get those leads and market to them. So check this out. I could click save search. Now, if I do, it's gonna ask me to log in and create if, if I don't have an account. So up until now, you can search all you want, but until you wanna save searches or download data, you do need to create a free account. Again, free, totally free, always will be free okay so then let's go ahead and log in now what i'm going to do is i'm going to save my search so let's name our save search here and i'm going to name it absentee owner free and clear and i'm going to name it individual because that's the filters that we set up so let's save it as that now before i save it make sure you click this notify me when new leads are found in this save search now i can do it by email or by sms or by both so now you're gonna get notified when new leads come in every day, updated daily, really cool feature here. Okay, so we're gonna save that. Okay, so let's go ahead and select this list. I click on that and then I click it download and it's gonna ask me how much of the information do you want? Do you want all of this mortgage, financial, tax details, foreclosure? Probably not if you're going to be cold calling or direct mail, maybe you just want the property and ownership details. So that's that checked and then click download 4813 and it's gonna give you a file. And then once you download that, you could upload that into your favorite CRM. If you've got Flipster, if you're a wholesaler or a flipper, you upload it into Flipster and you put it in the property workflow. You can do digital contracts, you can do proof of funds, you can do deal analyzers. You can do all of the things that you need to to work a deal all the way through to wholesale it or flip it. Okay, now I hope you found this tutorial super helpful. Again, I'm gonna do another video which shows how to do the MLS data, which is really, really exciting because we built some really cool custom tools in the MLS deal finder tool. And again, PropWire is completely changed the game for real estate because all of this is free and it will always be free. I'd love to hear from you. Tell me what a game changer this is for you and your business. Leave a comment. Tell me what you love about PropWire, some of your favorite features about it. Tell me your wish list, things that you wish it would do. I'd love to know about that as well. We're continually improving and updating the software so that it remains to be and will be the very best data software available. Again, totally free forever. All right, Jerry Norton here. I'll see you soon.